All right. Look, buddy. I, oh my gosh, did you just see the, the amazing Velociraptor back there on the cliffside swallow that clump of meat? Okay, that was a little exciting. But hello everyone and welcome back to Birthday is the Beginning, where we are here with one of the variants of the Dimetrodon, who has gotten themselves into a little bit of trouble because they have evolved after we used the alien technology of the Seed of Mutation, which makes me pretty excited because now we have a cool purple variety of this guy, except he's out in the middle of freaking nowhere because we just had our little exoplanet grow so much and he actually is a wetlands variety of dino and there's no water around here anywhere there is nothing that looks like it's going to take good care of him or keep him from like you know dying so we're going to go ahead and today we are going to see if we can keep this population thriving and then we will continue to work on filling out this amazing tree of life trying to get as many things evolving on this exoplanet as possible and we're also going to work slowly but surely on Navi's newest goal for us to get the Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> I'm gonna admit I'm not exactly like super eager to rush into having a T-Rex because that sounds like a very very big obligation but we are gonna try to go ahead and make our way to the T-Rex um, because come on, I know you guys are like super excited to try to evolve him, but I'm also really excited to try to evolve the little mammal, the little tiny mammal that the Dimetrodons actually seem to spur some sort of small lizard who likes the hot grasslands to go ahead and show up for. So we're gonna be working on trying to make some grasslands, on trying to make some wetlands, on basically a little of this, a little of that, and messing around with more of the powers that we have been given. With the chill stones, we still have a Dimetrodon saved in this mysterious glass jar. We have got uh, warmth stones to try to make areas even warmer. Oh, vegetation! Oh, I'm sure that maybe we can use the vegetation and a rain cloud to try to make this area a lot more moist and take care of our little Dimetrodon buddy. All right, let's do it. All right, first off, let's go ahead and try to make like a nice wetlands for him. Let's see, we wanna go down. So we'll just make like a big lake to start with. There we go. And then, let's see. Well, it'll be a little bit of a chaotic lake, but you know what, I'm gonna do my best. And then I guess I'll do like a few spots where we've got some uplands. Cause this is really exciting. We're working with like a brand new area, which is really cool. And then, whoops, I didn't want to do that. And then let's get a river, a river pathway around here too. All right, we'll put the riverway up here because the river is actually what expands all of the beautiful greenery that we really want. And I'm really excited because I feel like our skills after having done this for, uh, you know, so many thousands of years here on our exoplanet have grown. So we should hopefully be able to get this going really quickly and just watch time pass and a bunch of new creatures show up. So let's plunk down a river way. When you create many rivers, this may appear on the cube. Yes, all right, greenery. Okay, that's what we need to go ahead and get going. All the way down here. Oh, I love when we're just able to like get a river to start spreading. It really needs to be more or less a straight line with this one though and then let's try a straight line with this one there that's more like it see you really have to encourage it like a little irrigation channel yeah it's water buddy water and greenery I think you're gonna enjoy it trust me let's see maybe I can get this spread if I back it up a little bit oh I'm so relieved we probably will be able to get this guy whoops all right, let's try again. We'll probably be, well, I, I take it back. I don't know if this guy's just gonna go like extinct right away. <laughs> Look, I don't wanna alarm anyone, but sometimes, especially if you just decide to go ahead and like mutate evolve yourself into such a dire situation, I don't think I should be held at blame if this guy doesn't make it. I'm just saying. All right, in fact, I kinda wanna do like a cool little island spot right there. Just a couple, just a couple rocks, just to see what's going on. Um, and then I guess we can try to get like more water over here. This guy's just like, this is a huge area. And if we need wetlands, all right, maybe I can have like an ocean at the back. I kind of want to put a mountain over there though. And we need to name it something cool. 
And we are supposed to be making the world a little warmer, so... Hopefully this ocean will help. Oh, this is so cool! This is actually like the biggest ocean we've had, guys! Because this has so much more space than our little abyss trench that we had with our coelacanth. Holy moly! Okay, yeah, this is gonna get a little hotter. We'll put down a couple more riverways in just a second. And then I want to work on the abyss so bad today, but we probably don't need to work on that just yet, too. All right, and I am going to come over here, and I kind of want to try using that, like, mountain item that we have. Creates a 15 by 15 mountain that is 7T tall. It, uh, if there is a lot of land, it may appear on the cube. Let's try it. Oh! <gasps> That's so cool! River, river, river! Let's put a river over here! We're getting tired! Oh my gosh, we haven't run out of energy in so long. I actually forgot that was a thing that could happen. Alright, let's see. River source right here. Boom! Look at that. Spreading the waters of life. We'll come right down to the ocean over here. Boom! I love it. Okay, and then we'll come over. If I go down like this, lovely. And then we'll come over here. And then we need, a, oh, we're out of energy. Okay, let's go ahead and have one of the recovery leaves because we've got so many recovery leaves. I haven't used them for ages. And then I actually want to go ahead and try like putting a, uh, like a rain cloud over next to this guy and see if that will help bring a lot of lush water and like lush greenery to the area. And I guess once we get the river kind of going like this, we don't really need to keep spots like this. And I can kind of close them up a little. I think maybe the moisture is starting to spread around here. Not entirely sure, I'm hoping. And I do kind of want to make it go... No, up, 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 up. Okay, wait for that, buddy. Just a little bit. I want to make a few spots because we want to have some nice variation here. And who knows, this might end up being really important to like have, there we go. Might be really important to like have a little variation in the size here. We need to name this like <gasps> the mountain of life. What should we call it? Oh, let's name it after like one of the creatures that start showing up here. We'll just have to see like what starts appearing. All right, large rain cloud, a mysterious cloud that raises the soil moisture in an area when used. There we go. Did it do it? I don't know if it did anything. It doesn't seem like it did much. I want I want soil moisture over here, please. I don't know if we're gonna be able to save this guy's life. I'm gonna do my best. And then let's go ahead and try the vegetation. And we'll cross our fingers that hopefully that will work. And then do we still have the warm stone out? We do still have the warm stone out over here. And it gets a lot warmer over here. Hopefully that's going to play out okay. Um, and hopefully, like, we did what we could to try to encourage life to come over to this section. So we're just gonna have to back up, and I think we're gonna have to leave, like, the whims of fate to our little friend. So good luck, little guy. Oh, what should we call him? I want to get his name, like, okay, we gotta give him a nickname. There he is. Spia! Spin! Steven! Okay, we're gonna call those guys Stevens. All right, Steven, don't die on us. You've got this, buddy. <gasps> Something's on the verge of extinction. Something's, something's on the verge of extinction. I think that was plant, that was plant, that was plant. Oh no, who died? I saw, I saw so many things die. Okay, I don't see Steven's name yet. This feels like really reading some morbid obituaries. Nervous? <gasps> Steven, no! We lost Steven! You guys, we lost Steven! But the Cyclomedusa are back. Oh no. We tried so hard not to lose Steven. We tried. I tried. Is stuff being set up over here? Oh, my heart is sad and bitter now. <laughs> we do have a little bit of greenery that seems to be spreading over here, but it's not enough to console me. Steven was going to be our friend. Oh, here, let's climb the mountain of life because it seems that I have missed an object that's hiding way up here. And we're gonna call this the Spire of Steven so I can remember our little friend because I'm a little bitter about this right now. Oh, I bet I could have maybe tried to, oh my gosh. 
Oh my gosh, this mountain has snow on it. Am I seriously gonna make things this tall in the future? What? What? And the item isn't here? Oh my gosh, the item is at the bottom. I can't believe this. We went the wrong way. All right, we're gonna call this the, um, hmm, the chasm of, the cave of Stephen. <gasps> Let's try to make a little cave sort of look over here. We'll just go down so far and we'll kind of chisel out the side of the mountain. And then Stephen's bones are gonna be buried deep in this well. All right, do you see it? It's, it's whatever Stephen's gift is going to be, we're gonna say. All right, let's go, let's go, we got this. Wow, this cube is huge. I wonder if when we end up like having more water creatures, like whales and stuff, if it's going to be kind of important to have a huge ocean. I feel like that's already pretty important and something we should be working on, but maybe we just need to go around spreading a whole bunch of water. What do we get? <gasps> rainbow coating! Okay, what on earth is rainbow coating? I've gotta know. Okay, so rainbow coating. What is, oh my gosh! Protects an organism from the environment, but also renders them sterile. Won't work on extreme environment changes. <gasps> so then they wouldn't have any more of them, but it would protect them from being, like, to, from going extinct like Steven did? Like, what about our other little Dimetrodon? What do Dimetrodon eat again? Maybe we need to have more things for them to eat, and that's, like, my problem. Whoa! All right, I found out how to go fast now, guys. <laughs> Okay, I actually found out how to go fast. But if we have like a rainbow coating, that's kind of that's kind of fitting that Steven like left us with a memorial and it's a rainbow coating. And we're gonna have a spire of curiosity is what this one is now going to be. Oh, there's so much land to be able to oh, what do we get now? The flamestone! What does the flamestone do? Warms an area by 20 degrees Celsius? Are you kidding me? All right, we've got to go ahead and figure out what the last one does, because I think these are really important pieces of technology we should be using. And I believe the last one, oh great, water of extinction obtained. I feel like that's a little bit of a slap in the face in a way. Like, oh, you've let everyone go extinct again, have you, Siri? Here, have, have some waters of extinction. Ah, uh, I'm doing my best. All right, the spires of curiosity are reaching for the sky up to the heavens. Meanwhile, I wonder if maybe a large rain cloud would have helped. We should go over and check if that area we use the- oh, what do we get now? The ice stone! Okay, so it cools an area by 20 degrees. That might help us out with getting some of those cold water fish! <gasps> should we try to make like a deep- oh, look at that! It creates a valley! When you use a mountain source or a mountain range, it appears on the cube. Oh, that's really cool! Let's actually make a valley somewhere like over here. And we might try to make a cold ocean abyss that, and see if some creatures can evolve in that. So let's actually try the valley. I, I think I want to use it like maybe in the middle here. <gasps> oh! Oh, interesting! Okay. I, I don't think that's exactly what I was expecting, but we'll take it. Let's see, centers on the cursor to make an area the same height. Works when you raise or lower the cube. That's the field source. I don't know how to use the field sources yet. We'll have to play with those. The waters of life that boost the fertilities of organisms. The waters of extinction. Thanks for just like, you know, rubbing that in my face a little bit. Um, and then we have the large rain cloud and the smaller rain cloud. Did the, the moisture did go up way high in this area, but I don't know. Let's try. Let's try making the moisture go up on Stevens Mountain. Um, we'll call it Rainbow Mountain because we found a rainbow here. So we'll get moisture up, and then let's try getting maybe a warming stone. I want to try putting a a warming. Like there's a flame stone. There's the cooling stone. I don't know, let's try moving the warmth stone over here. I'm worried that if we do that, okay, let's move it over here. And then it'll move, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so we picked up the warmth stone and we moved it over here now. All right, so let's see what that does. I think we're probably about to blow a bunch of things up, but maybe this is just a lesson that I need to be even more wild with what we do here. We got cactuses! Oh my gosh! 
Lesson learned! Be more wild! Woo! And I'm so excited I learned how to go fast. <laughs> All right, what do we have here? Cactus! Okay! So we do have a plant that grows in desert environments. It adapted to be resilient against cold temperatures and dry climates. Excellent! The, the abyss of empty, like, death and dry land seems to be the only thing I'm able to produce at the moment, so it's good to have some cactuses. All right, all right, hang on. So when it comes to the whole, like, dinosaur thing, they're trying to make me make my planet go through, like, a major global warming, right? Because we've already started experimenting a little with global warming. Because this T-Rex wants to have, like, 41 to 51 degrees Celsius. Oh my gosh. And this dinosaur that becomes larger and faster than the Aeroraptor, allowing it to hunt for prey with increased ferocity, wants to have 29 to 49 degrees Celsius. But these guys gotta eat, right? So if they've gotta eat, I think we need to get more of, like, the Dimetrodons and their offspring. <gasps> That's a crocodile! That is 100% a crocodile! A large reptile that dwells near rivers in hot climates! Oh my goodness! And it, it shows up near the breeding grounds of Diphodon. Alright, where's our Diphodons? Because I feel like we're missing some steps, personally. I think we need to work on getting this newt. Let's make a really hot and dry... Well, hot and moist area, which this zone seems to be kind of fulfilling. It is hot. Is it hot enough for that little newt? Because I think I think the newt is where we need to be at. So 32 to 38 Celsius, 68 to 88 percent humidity. All right, we need more more moisture, more moisture. We need more rain. Let's get the rain in here. Where are my rain clouds? I can't do more rain clouds. All right, let's go ahead. We'll ride this out for just a minute. Red ferns are not having a good time. Cactus are popping around. Go, cactus, go. Something came and went. We're having a lot of like, oh, my colonia is dead again. Eoraptors are, are increasing in population. Whatever they're eating, I have no idea. <gasps> Ooh, look at that. The greenery is finally spreading in that little area near the rainbow. Meanwhile, the conifers are freaking out as usual. Should we go ahead and let's try mutating the cactus? Oh my word. Yeah, like, we have so many cactus now. <laughs> Let's go ahead and try to mutate our cactus. Also, swing around and pick up all of the wonderful little items. Look, our flowers are starting to spread. This area is still not moist enough either. We need it to be, like, really, 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 really feeling the, the rain and feeling the moisture. And I think we need it to be a little hotter, so let's actually move the heat stone over here. So we'll pick it up, the little warmth stone, and we'll put it right here. And maybe that will kind of make the magic happen. And then we have so many cactuses over here. The dirt is starting to spread. I love to see that life really trying to expand. Um, let's actually come over to our cactuses and use the seed of evolution on our cactuses. We're going to be bold. We're going to be brave. We're going to trust that that can do something. And also, I kind of... Okay, I can grab... Um, I have the mysterious jar to be able to grab some DNA. But I think we're doing okay on DNA at the moment. I do want to kind of, like, make this cliff a little bigger. Because this looks really cool. Alright, up we go. Spread your really cool looking ways. It looks like a mesa biome. Makes me think about Stacy. <laughs> All right, there's some of those. There's some of these. We'll give these cactuses a little bit of a ride. Now that I know that these are just considered lowlands. Oh no, now I made it a little cooler. That's not what we wanted. All right, and then we'll warm this place up with like a mega ocean. I think that's gonna be, let's just use all of our power to start putting some ocean over here. And we'll just make this a nice shallow ocean that kind of spreads this way so that maybe as time passes we'll be able to go ahead and kind of oh change this ocean as needed but we'll add to it as we have energy but let's go ahead and see if our cactuses do anything now all right ah uh, we'll also try making um 
We'll also try making somewhere for our conifers to stop freaking out. Maybe we can make a nice cool area. We have a new life! New life, new life! Also, I am so excited to finally figure out how to go zoom! That's gonna make everything so much easier. All right, who's new? Whose birthday is it? Beep beep. I hear there's a birthday present. Also, is something on top of here? Hello? Oh my gosh, something. <gasps> there's a plant on top of here. Are you kidding me? There's actually a grass up way this high. We're making a mountain next time. That is too cool. That is absolutely too cool. All right, somebody showed up as a new birthday. All right, almost. There's that. Come here, you. We've got seed of mutation. We've got recovery leaves. And we've got newbie is hanging out right over here somewhere. Where's our new bean? <gasps> Wait, what are you? Oh my gosh, is this a spider? Wait, did we? Oh my gosh. It's a spider! I didn't expect to make a spider. What? That is so cool! Okay, well some trilobites stayed in shallow water. This anthropod migrated on the land instead. Okay, that was legitimately the last thing I thought we were going to end up mutating and having grow here. <laughs> so I'm actually super tickled by that. I'm also a little alarmed that I'm missing some of our raptors, but they're doing good in their little raptor volley here. We still are holding on to some of our mushroom plants. It looks like we have some of the dry cliff sides starting to spread. And how is this area doing? It is moist and it is hot. So fingers crossed we'll be able to get our newts, friends. But all right, you know what? I'm gonna grab that spider and put it in a jar because that seems kind of majorly exciting that we have actually been able to unlock that creature. Uh, I didn't expect to get anthropods and it has a little, look at how cool that is. It's got freaking, Itty bitty little eggs that it manages. Or maybe, oh no, that's its food. That's its food as it's like capturing its food and its little spidery grasp. Hi friend, welcome to my little exoplanet experiment. I'm really actually very happy that you're with us. But all right, guys, if you guys could, do please leave a like for our lovely new anthropod. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!